ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another video brought to you by Rib. Today I'm revisiting the Lakeside Valley, so default Lakeside Valley server, how to get one started. Uh, so this was the born home folder from the last video, so now I'm just going to change a few things. Uh, we're going to use the same live server, exdb, um, etc. Rename the mission to rib.lakeside valley. Just need to pop the new mission SQM in there, but first I need to go in, port over the NPCs from the Altus Life map to lakeside so let's open up well you need the mods first which is called lakeside v i'll put it in the description copy this once you've got them and pull it into your armor 3 directory i already have is that the right one or is the other one the right one um, 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 no that's the right one so let's just start up armor make sure you select that mod pack which you've just added lakeside v Indeed, play. Come on! If anyone's interested in the mission that I worked on for eight plus months, the La Easy Life Lakeside Valley, fully modded, absolute unbelievable map and custom content, then yeah, hit me up on a message. I'm sure we can sort something out on that. Yeah, I'll send it over. So let's go on to the editor. It gets booted. So the same, like I say on the last video, same applies for any map. You just need the mods for that map. Port over the open Altus life with the mission default mission. Port over the NPCs, control and copy them over to your new map. Save them. Rename the mission folder. Blah blah blah. Editor. Lakeside Valley. Okay. Control O. Oh, we didn't want to go in here first. But we'll go back, we'll go back. Go back! And it was like eight plus months ago since we did a Lakeside Valley uh, video, so I mean, it's a setup video, so we might as well revisit it if things have changed, think stuff has broke since then, that has been fixed. So, first of all, we need to go to Lakeside and we need to get the default mission, which, same again, I've said, uh, I've already put in here for you, so you can do it yourself if you don't want to, if you want to do stuff from scratch, it is there. See if I'm ready for porting. So open FG FG. Yeah. There you go. Lots. Select them all. Control and C. Go to your Lakeside Valley. Okay. Control V. So as I say, guys, you. There's your markers. Forget your markers. You have got your sieve. Civ underscore spawn one, cop underscore one, um, Civ underscore spawn underscore one, cop underscore spawn underscore one, etc. They're all here, so you'd have to find them and put them where you want them, like there, that's cop two, so if you wanted him to spawn there, blah blah blah. That's down to you guys to move these deep, these uh, NPCs. Believe me, I have done every one of them on quite a few different maps. I'm not going to be doing it again, but that's how you do it. Just obviously select your NPC, put them where, what building you want them in, keep putting down a unit that's a player and go in and check on them whereabouts he is and then keep moving it until you got it in the right, right location uh, and then you click preview to go in and see it so we're just going to save this mission now once I've had it gone into quick bloody preview come on Yeah, there he is. Oh no, I don't want him there. I want him in that bit there. So go back into your editor, and then you just move him. Oh, he's in there. Lovely. And then you'd go back again, preview, and check if it looks where you want him. Right. So let's just delete him. You don't have to do any of this, guys. If you want to just use all the files in the description, go for it. But this is how I do it from scratch. So here's all your playable units. Let's just make a couple of them playable. You will have to go and make as many units as you want playable, depending on how many players you want on your server. I'm just going to do a couple for now. Same as before, I've told you in quite a few videos, make sure they have got names and descriptions or you'll have problems at ATMs and stuff like that. And let's make one of these playable. Lovely. So now we can save this. Save as rib. So that's rib.lakesidevalley. Okay, so if you go to your documents, armor 3, mission files, missions, 
should have a rib dot on the lakeside valley. There it is. Okay, so that mission there, copy that. Go to my lakeside folder on the f that's in the description, that's on my desktop. And now this was the default outer slide framework, but then I used it for Born Home and I changed a couple of things. I even moved Spyglass and edited the spawn points. So what I need to do is put delete that one, put Lakeside Valley in there, my mission dot Instagram from Lakeside Valley. Okay, so now what I need to do is upload this one to the server and we should be able to join this. Okay, let's go to So obviously the mod to get this map is Lakeside V, that's in the description. Then open the map and uh, pour over the Altis Life NPCs like I just did that here. Or we'll choose this one, open this mission straight up and move the NPCs where you want them and the spawn points which are these markers which will be called Civ score blah blah blah. Right so let me just upload this, delete that one. Upload uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. missions desktop lakeside. All we need is that one rib dot lakeside at the archive. Lovely. Upload that. Okay, let's go onto the server. Robocop is the man. Is the password. Okay, we're on the server. Let's close this one down. Let me just download that mission, uh, Rib Lakeside Valley mission, which is in here. Okay, now we need to put the Lakeside Valley mod on the server, which I already have, which, which is just it's in a different folder at the minute, so I'll show you what I mean. Move up Lakeside Valley. Okay, so if we go get, let's go and get that download. Just extract it here for now. Extract here. Okay, copy that. Go to your Armor Three Direct. Oh no, let's put it on there for a second. Move up Lakeside Valley. Copy. Steam apps common on my three MP missions. Drop it in there. <coughs> okay, right. So I won't upload the full folder because that's I've already got everything on the server. I that goes in your you know which know where all these go on. But that the XDB and the live server go into your on my three directory. I'll show you on the server. Uh, that's the late the mission file which goes into the MP missions. That's to set up your database. The XDB is your database information you need to edit that. Tadst is what you use to boot the server to launch servers and that is your memory allocator. So we've already got all that set up on the server. So let's go back. Duh. On the three server. Okay, extend that a bit. The at Lakeside V mod for the map I already have but I've renamed it because I use it for others. Uh, it's to Leaks Lakeside Valley. But yours will be called Lakeside V, so don't worry about the difference in names. But the mission file, as you saw, I've just put in the MP missions. I've already set up my navcat with the SQL file, etc. There's my XTB, uh, dot any which has my database information. There's the live server and the EXDB live server and EXDB. So all I need to do now, guys, is go to missions, refresh, and let's select that default Lakeside mission. Let's go to mods. Um, I can leave that on there, but yours will just be the at life server, at exdb, and at lakeside v. Okay, that's all yours, yours would be. But mine has extra mods, so let's boot this. We should be able to go and join a default. Have I added anything yet? Let me just check the mission. Cool. Obviously, the spawn points and stuff are going to be named differently. To change them, I've showed you before. Dialog function fn spawn point cfg. I just edit, edit these names here. But for now, it's going to be called test one and test two. <coughs> Let's come out of this. Need to click OK in a second. So 
the spyglass was already removed in that mission and the edit in the in its sieve for the spawn points was already done so it's already been done in the mission for you which was to remove um, let me show you if you wanted to know how to do it we've got like size of valley core in its sieve on the in its sieve there's a bit of code which is above the if life rested in open oh hello um, 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 I still haven't started but my server seems to be being a bit of a bitch at a minute I'm going to have 10 notepads open nope, oh, well it's in there but it's already been edited on here for you I don't know what that said lovely let's see what's going on Sin City, which is actually Lakeside which I haven't changed any names can we join is the question but no, yeah, I thought I had why is my server running out of memory? I've just freaking upgraded it but let's just get rid of this let's get rid of this Something to do with them. Task manager. Sorry about this, guys. Let me just get rid of some processes. Oh, cool. Cool. Start that bloody server back up. With the mission Rib. Lakeside Valley. Okay. Right, I need to start uploading that Lakeside Valley uh, mods. Guys, um, armor three, lakeside V, at the archive. Okay, so that'll be in the description, same as the actual folder. If you already got a server on the go, all you really need is the that folder, the at lakeside valley folder, and the mission file. Because uh, you should already have like live server and XDB if you already run a server. But if you don't, then use these ones. Happy days. Happy days. And like I said, if you want a fully decked out, fully customized, absolute, one of the best, if not the best, lakeside map mission out there, uh, then yeah, hit me up. But there will be a small fee because it did take me like eight plus months of uh, of work. But this is how you start a default lakeside mission, and this is how I started with my mission a long, long time ago. Everyone else these days just seems to be, uh, yeah, using what they can get their hands on, man. Okay, let's see if we can join this time. I've got all the server crushing. Since today. Should be good. Can't see it crashing this time. Don't know why it's crashing though. If I've only got bloody explorer on the go. Jeez. I don't worry about anything like that. The only area you worry about is if you cannot play this or edit this mission. It it is dependent of deleted content, something like that, and that's the only one. And it'll tell you what's been deleted and you just replace it in your mod pack to be fair. But we seem to be good at the minute. And it should be like I say you move the spawn points to sib underscore spawn underscore one and cop underscore spawn under one and all that sort of stuff. You move that in the 2D editor like I showed you. There's my little boy crying. I might have woke him up, that's good. Will it give us a spawn point, which will be test one and test two? But same again, I've showed you how to edit the spawn points. This life server is the updated life server version, so you do not have to fix it. The recent ARM update did break it. I think I'm going to have to reconnect here because there is a. I know there is an error on the map. Uh, every time the first person connects, it's a bugger. Let me just reconnect. Reconnect. The girlfriend coming to the door, so I think it possibly was me. We should be good this time. Okay, yeah, 
there's all our NPCs where we can move them to. Continue. There's our spawn points. Test one and test two. Happy days. All working, guys. All fixed. That's how to start a default Altis, uh, Altis framework Lakeside Valley server. So yeah, good luck with it. Until we meet again. Remember to like, subscribe, subscribe, guys, and I'll keep it flowing. Adios.